Today I'm going to give you a little tip that I discovered yesterday that is uh, really awesome. I thought I'd share it with you guys. See here, if you want to fix this issue where your sponge filters keep on coming off the glass, then watch this video because this really does work. I was actually shocked at how good it actually works when I did this the other day. Right, So I'm showing you here guys a tank where I had a tank that has no lid and this, the rubber came unstuck and the sponge filter floated up right and see how I have the end out of the water like that? Well, it actually started to drain the tank. Right, so this is an issue that you must fix. Here guys I'm pointing to the edge of the rubber, I've taken it off. And this is if you want to reuse your rubber, no laughing at the back there. But you want to check the edge here, like I'm showing you in the picture. And you want to feel for um, little nicks and cuts, right? Because if it has nicks and cuts in it, this won't work. Right, so what you want to do is get yourself a piece of melamine foam, like I'm showing you here. A good place to get them is the hardware section in a store. And uh, where I found mines, guys, is, is the tiling section, right? So wherever you buy it, just make sure that you get stuff that has no polishes or soaps in it. It's just melamine foam and that is it. And you want to do a little push with your rubber into the melamine foam, like, against each other until it's clean. You just saw how much of the little dirty particles were left on the sponge. Make sure you thoroughly rinse it after. This just helps to get it that, like, extra little bit cleaner. Because the cleaner you get this guys, the easier it will be for you to fix it back onto your glass, right? So here I'm going to show you guys another issue that I discovered with this that didn't help as well. And that was the alignment. I'm going to stick the rubber back on here. You'll be able to see this in a second. See the alignment? This bottom one isn't really in line with the top one. It's a little bit squint. That is bad for your suction. It's going to stick much, much better if you can actually make sure that they're actually in line with the sponge filters and in line with each other like this watch I'm showing you now. You see it? Straight, that is what you want. So once you've done this as well, right, when you're going to put it back on, make sure the glass at the back that you attach this to is actually clean. You can see I actually used the melamine foam again here to clean the glass at the back. And a good sign here guys is when you push it in, you see the little air bubble, watch. See that little air bubble come up? That means that it's pushed all the air out and your little rubber sucker will actually be stuck on. 